In this tutorial, I want to discuss how we can stop a program from being case sensitive. I've started off by creating a variable called subject and I've used the input function to ask the user for their favorite subject. I've also got an if function which checks if the subject is equivalent to English with a capital E. If that is true, then my program will print off that I love English too. Now I'm going to run this program and show you what the problems are. If the user types in English with a capital E, there is no problem. It says I love English too. But if the user types in English without a capital letter, it will not recognize the input and there is no output. If the user types in English with all capital letters, there is also no output. This is great if you're checking for a password because passwords need to be case sensitive. But sometimes you want an input but not to be case sensitive. I'm going to change this to a lowercase e. And I'm going to put a method called dot lower at the end of this input function. So what this will do is it will get the user's input, change it to lowercase and store it into subject. So whether the user types in English in all capitals or all lowercase or starting with a capital letter or mixes it up a little bit, the program will still convert every letter into lowercase, store it into subject and compare the lowercase version of whatever the user has entered against the lowercase version of the word and this will always trigger as long as the user has spelt the value correctly. I'm going to press play just to test to see if this is working. This time I'm going to type in English in all capital letters and I'm going to press enter. The program has recognized the input. I'm going to try and mix and match this. This time I'm going to do a capital E, I'm going to do a lowercase n, I'm going to put a capital G, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit and it still recognizes that value. So using the dot lower method converts the user's input into lowercase so that we can then compare it successfully. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.